let's use this pretend clock to help us figure out how do you tell time. Notice that my clock has two different hands, an hour hand, which is shorter, and a minute hand, which is longer. Those hands spin around the clock in a circle, pointing to tell you what time it is. The hour hand tells you the hours from one all the way up to 12. I think the hour hand is easier because I can see those numbers written out one, two, three, four, and so on. The minute hand's a little harder because even though the clock shows 12 hours, the clock shows a lot more minutes than just 12. Let's start counting them. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. As I counted, you may have noticed that I really emphasized those numbers when I got to the big numbers. I was counting 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There are 60 minutes in an hour. You can count all of the little tick marks to see that, or you can just remember there are 60 and they're broken into groups of five. Let's spin our clock to this time. My clock right now says three o'clock. I know that because my minute hand is at zero. My hour is just beginning and my hour hand tells me it's three o'clock. Three o'clock on the dot. 301, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306, 307, 308, 309, 310. As I continue spinning my minute hand, you'll notice the hour hand is moving too. It's moving much more slowly. But let's look now. My minute hand is at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's halfway around my clock, and my hour hand is halfway between three and four. It's still in the three o'clock hour. It hasn't made it to four yet, but it's getting closer. The time right now is 3.30. I'm gonna go five, 10, 15 more minutes. It's almost four, but not quite. It's still in the three o'clock hour. It's three, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. It's 345. And if I keep ticking a clock away, I'll reach the top again and it's four o'clock. As your minute hand keeps spinning, your hour hand keeps spinning. And you can look at each of them to help you figure out what time it is. Five o'clock. 510, 520, 521, 522, 523, 535, 536, 537, 6 o'clock. Your hour and your minute hand work together to tell you what time it is. Let's practice by looking at the problems on the rest of the slides. How can you tell what time it is by using your short hour hand and your longer minute hand? Remember, the hours go from one to 12 and the minutes go from zero to 60.